I'm Mrs. Hasty, and today we're going to have fun with the letter M. Let's start with a rhyme. Four little monkeys swinging in the trees, teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, snapped a monkey right out of the tree. <gasps> Three little monkeys swinging in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snapped a monkey right out of the tree. <gasps> Two little monkeys swinging in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be, and snapped a monkey right out of the tree. <gasps> One little monkey swinging in a tree wasn't teasing Mr. Alligator. Please don't catch me. Along came Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. That little monkey climbed higher in the tree. Did you know that monkey starts with the letter M? How about you go get a piece of paper and a pencil and I'll get my whiteboard and we can practice writing the letter M. Do you have a piece of paper and a pencil? Are you ready to write with me? Good. Let's start with a lowercase m. Lowercase m is the one we use the most often. We use it for words like monkey or moose. Lowercase m goes between the middle dotted line and the bottom solid line. Let's write one together. Short line down, monkey jump, monkey jump. Oh, <laughs> that's fun. Let's do it again. Short line down, monkey jump, monkey jump. One more time. Short line down, monkey jump, monkey jump. Good job. Now let's make an uppercase M. Uppercase M is what we use for very important words like names. Names like Matt or Makala. Let's do an uppercase M between the bottom solid line and the top solid line. Are you ready? Monkey jumps up, down, up, and down again. Great job. Let's do it again. Monkey jumps up, down, up, and down again. Great job making the letter M with me today. You keep practicing. Now, let's play a game. These are some of the words from our rhyme today. Let's see if we can find four lowercase m's. One, two, three, four. Do you think that you can find two uppercase m's? One, two. Great job finding M's with me. Did you know an M can make one sound? Did you know an M can make one sound? Did you know an M can make one sound? An M just says mm. That's right. M just says mm. Like monkey. Mm. Monkey. Now, everything in my schoolhouse has an M, M sound in it. Some of them start with the M sound and some of them end with the M sound. Will you help me find out which ones have M as their beginning sound and which ones have M as their ending sound? Our first is a broom. 
broom. Do you hear the M sound? Broom. Is that M sound at the beginning or at the end? Broom. You're right. I hear it at the end. Broom. Mm, mm. Good. Let's see what else is in our schoolhouse. This looks like some jam. 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 Do you hear the mm, 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 M sound? Jam. Yes. The M sound is at the end. Jam. Good job. Let's do another one. It looks like we have a map. 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 Do you hear the M sound? Is it at the beginning or at the end? Map. I hear it at the beginning. M -m map. Let's do another one. Here's some lip balm. Lip balm. 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 Where's the M sound? The beginning or the end? Yes, it's at the end. Balm. What else is in our schoolhouse? Oh, this is fun to use. It's a Marker. Marker. Where's the M sound? Marker. Yup, it's at the beginning. M, M, marker. Good. Last item is a mailbox. You've got mail. Mailbox. Mailbox. Where's the M sound? Mailbox. Yes, it's at the beginning. Thank you for doing Schoolhouse Sort with me today. I hope you can find some things around your house that have the M, mm, M, mm, M sound in them. Maybe they start with M or maybe they end with M. And don't forget to come back for more learning fun. Keep learning at home by tracing letters in rainbow colors. Turn your letters into crafts and make them into something that starts with that letter. You can also play letter detective, finding the letter you're focusing on, on billboards, signs, or license plates. And there's always printable resources available at my teacher store at teacherspayteachers.com. Don't forget to subscribe!